the solemnity of our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the Universe, formerly referred to as Christ the King, was established by Pope Pius XI in 1925 as an antidote to secularism, a way of life which leaves God out of man's thinking and living and organizes his life as if God did not exist. The feast is intended to proclaim in a striking and effective manner Christ's royalty over individuals, families, society, governments, and nations. Today's Mass establishes the titles for Christ's royalty over men. Christ is God, the creator of the universe, and hence wields a supreme power over all things. All things were created by him. Two, Christ is our Redeemer. He purchased us by his precious blood and made us his property and possession. Three, Christ is head of the church, holding in all things the primacy. Four, God bestowed upon Christ the nations of the world as his special possession and dominion. Today's Mass also describes the qualities of Christ's kingdom. The kingdom is one, supreme, extending not only to all people, but also to their princes and kings, two, universal, extending to all nations and to all places, three, eternal, for the Lord shall sit a king forever, four, spiritual, Christ's kingdom is not of this world. Before the reform of the Roman calendar in 1969, this feast was celebrated on the last Sunday of October. Christ, the King of the Universe.